So do you know what we're going to do for you today, Shay? Put my spaces in. Put your spaces in, that's right. So I'm not sure if you recall what the roses look like, but the ones that we're um, looking at preparing your teeth for today are these ones that go around the back. So uh, what we need to do is, because they go all the way around the tooth, we need to prepare your tooth to be able to fit that ring on there. So we're going to put some spaces, as you call them, or separators in between your back teeth. And I'll show you what they look like before we do it. Um, and you'll leave those in there until we see you next time. So next time you'll be getting your braces on, do you know when that's happening? Uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Fantastic. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Would you like to um, watch your spaces going in? get you to wear sunglasses because sometimes these little separators might fling around the room. So I'll get you to put these on for me. I'll put the mirror for you while you do that. Thank you. And I'm just going to move your chair up and back a little bit so don't get a fright when it moves. Alright, now what we're going to do, I'll just show you these little spaces we were talking about. So basically it's these little blue rings here. We only need them for your back teeth. So I use these tweezers and I stretch them like that. And if you pretend that my two fingers are your back teeth, basically it slides in between like that. Right? Now, it will feel tight when they're first going in there. You will feel it. Uh, but it shouldn't hurt too much and it will settle down eventually. Okay. All right? Just going to pop your chair up a little bit. So we're going to start on the bottom ones first. So I guess you open as big as you can. I'll just have a look at which ones we're going to. We're going to these very back ones. Oh, you've had your baby teeth out too, I see. Very good. Was that all right? Yes. Yeah, excellent. So I'm going to start on this side first. So it will feel tight. And you'll just feel it slip between the two. So did you feel that there? Just a little. Just a little bit. Does it feel strange? Yeah. Can you feel it when you bite together? Yes. Yeah. Feels about a bit like you're chewing on a trampoline or something. Now we may not need one here, Shay, because you've had that baby tooth out, but oh no, that fits in there. Because your adult tooth is still coming through, so it's not all the way through yet. So we don't need to make too much space there. So we'll just go to the other side now. Excellent. Same thing there, Shay. Your adult tooth is still just coming through, but we've put one in there. That's great. All right. Nice and big for me. That's a long way back there, isn't it? You can sort of hear it when it goes yeah. between, can't you? Yes. Going okay? That's all of the bottom ones done. Now I'm going to do the top one. So what I want you to do is just look up to the ceiling for me. Fantastic. So back here. All right. We're almost done. Just got a couple more to go for the very back ones back there. Sometimes those are a little bit tricky to reach with these tweezers and we need to use a different um, method of putting them in, but we'll try with the tweezers first. We might be lucky. Huh. You're making this very easy for me today. <laughs> They're going in nicely. Thank you very much. This is the last one. Done, Shay. Do you want to have a look at them in the mirror? You'll probably be able to see the bottom ones a little bit easier. So see them going in between your back yeah. teeth there? Oh, yeah, see the I ones at the top? See them. see them from the side, perhaps? Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Good job.